So this is Unit 3, Lesson 2. We are actually going to construct the image um, given a line of reflection and a pre-image. And so we're going to use the fact that the pre-image point and the image point is perpendicular to, well, if we connect those two, that line segment is perpendicular to the perpendicular bisector, which is your line of reflection. And keep in mind that we know that each point is equidistant from that line of reflection. And those are the two things that we're using here. So we're going to construct a perpendicular line, so please fix that on your notes, by constructing a perpendicular line through a point, which is the pre-image point, not on the line, which is the line of reflection. So notice that those, trans, uh, those constructions that we did in Unit 1 are coming back around. We need to be able to use them. Then we're going to measure the distance of the pre-image point to the line of reflection and measure this same distance as um, on our line we made in our first step. Okay, That's copying a segment. So let's apply this. Let's, let's see how it's done. So we want to reflect ABC over DE. Um, and create a new triangle QRS that will be equal in size and shape to the given triangle. So first thing we need to do is point A is our pre-image point, DE is our line of reflection. We're going to make an arc that goes through DE. We're then going to transfer our compass onto D one endpoint and to the other. What are we doing here? We are creating a line that is perpendicular to DE and passes through A. Right? That's the whole point. Okay, so this would be the line segment that connects our pre-image point and our image point. And what we know is that our... Let's get a different color here. Well, maybe we'll leave it the same color. Um, we know that our pre-image point A to DE is going to be the same distance away as A prime is going to be to DE. So right here, after I've measured this distance from here to here, and I've applied it again, that's our new A prime. And I'm going to repeat this step three times, once for each point. There's no other way to do this. Uh, well, there is another way, but... We're going to use this way. Um, okay, so again, I need to construct a perpendicular line through a point not on the line. B is not on the line DE. Where two arcs intersect, I can put a point, and through any two points, I can put a line. And again, this should pass through your pre-image point, B. So now I have a line perpendicular to DE, and I'm going to measure the distance from B to the line of reflection, and I'm going to measure that same distance from the line of reflection to the other side. Sorry. Okay, and where that measurement is, that is where B prime is going to go. And we will repeat these steps one more time for C. Okay, I put my compass on the pre-image point. I make an arc that crosses the line of reflection to make my perpendicular line through a point not on the line. Through those two arcs, I can put a point. Sorry, my line is not very straight here. Okay, so now we measure from our pre-image point to the line of reflection. And we repeat that distance on our perpendicular line. So there's where C prime will go. Oh, again, oh, I gotta name it something else. Hold on this time. This should be Q. 
this should be R. And this should be S. And the last step is to connect your triangle. You don't forget to form your final figure. Use your ruler and compass. Okay, so angle A corresponds with angle Q. Side AB corresponds with QR. Angle B corresponds with angle R. Angle C corresponds with angle S. And side BC corresponds with RS. And side AC corresponds with QS. How do we know that? The important thing to note is the order that they list the points in here is the order of the correspondence here. So notice A comes first, Q comes first. B comes second, R comes second. C comes third, then S. So they are listed when they tell you the order of correspondence of the parts of the triangles.